Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice no, instrument. No, 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 go it's ahead. Just, it's just that master. It's just that mastering. That song is perfectly done in the vocal. So it's just about adding a little bit of spices to the core structure that they created already, and just to, and just and just perfect that voice in the editing to give it its real sound to come out. Because the instruments are all set, but they just need to be pumped up in little pieces that this guy who does mastering can do that easily. And also give it a, an interesting couple of remixes so it can be a single. We'll send you a couple of a couple of remixes, maybe, to reach out to a bigger audience in the community. Some like some dance or some like soul music, some like R&B and some like house music. So that song alone can represent even four genres just by remixing it and that is the core song that one like that's the original that you've already done so the original and then there will be like extended remix that would even have like a, a, a south african a, a afro sounding house that's that, that's still, that's taking up right now it's just towards the end an additional uh instrumental like yeah may, maybe let's say let's say i briefed the wildfire about the project that Mkwama mm -hmm. Masimba is working on to build a nice. global media mm -hmm. platform. So on the right. on the broadcasting, you have a studio already. Awesome. Thank you. Now, uh, Thank you. I do. Yeah. Right. Uh, so Ras has got a, a studio in Australia. And the, the idea of broadcasting, because right now he's preparing uh, some content, uh, edited content, and we're talking about what best, uh, how do we use this radio? What, can, what kind of issues can we write? If you were to write a community, a community book, Mkwama Simba is writing his own, his own book. Maybe oh, wildfire. Right. If uh, if you were to write a book for the community on the show that you just did with Mkwa Masimba, how best yes. would you would you cover it? I would cover it in a holistic approach with issues affecting the community in general, you know, in the diaspora and everywhere, you know, just basic issues. Like uh, even regarding to physical, mental, spiritual health, all just like in one discussion, because they are all different situations which you can generalize, and people can generalize uh, some some. So we just bring those topics and that are thought provoking that reach out to a wider audience. So on our side, we decided we would include some of the Australian audience because mental. Health is an issue that impacts everyone in this uh, global topic. So, so, so maybe maybe on the, on wildfire side, how would you approach it? So what I thought I was I organized uh, one or two interviews. I was thinking no, of no, different no, demographics around here. No, no, I, I was I was just saying. Uh, uh, Russ, I was just saying, let's hear from Wildfire what uh, how you would approach it, and then we can compare Thank notes. You. you guys as broadcasters, yeah. Uh, Wildfire, Thank any you. input on that? Okay, so I think our first is to talk about the get organized. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, share notes on how to approach this whole concept and uh, how yes. we create it to be relatable to yes. people who is listening. Because at the end of the day, the, the content is not for wildfire, not for after, but we are doing content mm -hmm. uh, so that mm -hmm. we reach out to the listener. And uh, by oh. putting the listener, that makes up the mind whether they want to be part of the initiative or it's something that they don't relate to. So content has to be created in a way where it's relatable to the person that is listening to it. Oh, okay, the first thing is just to get to know each other. Uh, right now, right. 
That's right. You didn't know who wildfire is. And uh, we are already talking about content before we even know each other. Thank you very much. And uh, know who, who is who and mm. uh, what are your uh, areas of interest. And then we can now go there to say the next thing is what brings us together. And you find that the common element is Mkoma Masimba. When he says he's writing a book, what does he mean? And when he says TV or radio, what does he, he mean? When he says hashtag and the Kwama Were, what does he mean? So we can then be able to carry that content because for some he could be misunderstood to be Maweri's agent to others it would appear as if there is some hidden agenda why would somebody say it's Andy Kwa Maweri then you come there you don't find Maweri on the show so, is Mkwama Simba a pimp or a principal? He is just a mentally advanced human being with his own ideas that are very interesting and beneficial when he talks about community. So, as he's writing his book, he doesn't need to take a pen and a paper to write his book because he's physically and social me social media wise writing his book to the world as it goes page by page by day on a live show that's my own perception that's but that's why why that. can't we write a book ourselves the book according to ras zimbabwe thank you then the I like group your ideas because now it's it's now my best. Okay, I like your idea. Yeah. I like your idea. So this you would be, you, you, you yeah, you would be building content yes. around you. Oh, no. Yes. And yes. if it's to yes. do with yes. Mkwama Masimba, it would be your take from each of the shows. Yes. I'm not sure whether yes, you were, sir, you were, you were watching the earlier I show. Yeah, I did. I did. I was watching them, and now I I. Hello? 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 All right. Uh, I hope Russ can join you. Yeah. So, uh, my greetings, Tendis. So, Tendis can also write a book, his own yes. book about Mkwa Masimba, but he can write his, his own perspectives. So when we are encouraging storytelling, writing of stories, recording of stories, how best do we make sure that we are all provoked to write stories or to record stories so that future generations may find our stories? Uh, now I get what you mean. All right. And uh, and Vama uh, Were, right. agenda yavo chi chaiso. Agenda is for me to know who D Teresa is. I don't have an agenda because I don't even know you. I'm just here trying to provoke the, the writing of stories and what we learn from right. Mkoma Masimba, not as an agenda. If you learn something that you need to share, then the platform exists to share those stories in your own ways without anyone asking you what the agenda of somebody is. When a dog barks, I don't think we ask, what is the agenda for the dog? Is it to stop somebody from moving or something? Then I haven't been following consistently from the time MM got sick. Fine, uh, you can only talk about 
what you have heard. Tender says, with his permission, I will, I will wire something in support of his well-being. Fine. I didn't ask that question. Uh, I'm talking simply about uh, what Ras is doing. He's got a, he's got a, a studio. He has energized others who have studios to start uh, building the TV that Mkwa Masiba provoked him to be part of. D. Teresa, writing of stories based on mental illness, no offense in Rukla writing a story about the lessons we know that there are people who are not mentally sick, but they behave as if they are mentally sick. There are people who watch somebody sick and talk about this sickness. There are people who can build institutions around somebody's sickness, but they do nothing. You may find somebody in your family who suffers from cancer, and when they die, you build a foundation to celebrate cancer, to know more about cancer, even if it's diabetes, if it's corona. There are many people who didn't know what coronavirus is, but today we are better for them. And the deaths are recorded unlike other diseases that don't have consistent statistics. So you can write about the mental institution. You can write about the lessons that you have learned from Koma Simba and record them. It could be verses. It could be chapters where you just record number one lesson. What is fact? What is fiction? Is Mkwama Simba sick? Judge for yourself. Is he playing it up? Judge for yourself. What are the doctors saying? How did he get into hospital? Is it easy to be admitted to hospital? What did he have to do to jump the queue of people who also may need care? So there are many areas that you can touch at uh, D. So I don't have, so we are looking at uh, giving uh, uh, some kind of order. Yesterday I had a long chat, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, wildfire with, uh, with a person called Moses Machipisa. And uh, he was talking about a generational uh, challenge. You know what he was talking about? He was talking about that the young people are prevented from realizing their put full potential by old people. And the only way Zimbabwe can be lifted out of its challenge is, is if there's a reversal of power, that the old people must give up power so that the young people may be the people there. The, in, in government. So if you were to convince in the case of Zimbabwe, Munanga got to resign and give in to Chamisa, the country will automatically be better for that. So that's what he was talking about. So I, I asked him whether common sense, logic and reason are age related. What do you think? I think common sense, common sense is ageless. Okay, wildfire, common sense, is it ageless or age-centric? Uh, it's ageless. I mean, there's, there, 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 there's, there's no choice about it. To you, it's clear that yeah. it's ageless. To us, it's clear that it's ageless. What about logic? The same as well. And Russ? Uh, experience also gives you a more understanding of things, you know. The yeah, logic will be common, but, you know, in this situation, um, with experience, you learn a lot of things in life that 
uh, priceless to give to the younger generation. And the younger generation also comes with uh, other things from the past life or whatever, inspiration, new inspiration that the world is not aware of that they should meet halfway and then share uh, experience and uh, new inspiration. So both of them are equally important. So they cannot do without the other. Because I look out to my little nephews, they come out with some interesting inspiration. Even though they could be eight years old, they inspire me with some music that I, well, nobody else would have given me. And oh, that's the new thing. And then I have to adjust to that. So in reality, I see the importance of both. So the importance of the younger generation and the importance of the older generation meeting in a way of collaboration being smooth. So, so your 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 you are saying that age has something to do with logic. Yes or no? We all learn from our parents. No, no. I'm just saying it yes. Does, yeah. No. Before you go yes, further. Yes, it does. Okay, yes, and wildfire. Wildfire. I, I say it's got nothing to do with, uh, with edge. I mean, if uh, you are a reasonable person, no, no, yeah, I, I don't even go further. So we have yeah, two, we have two views that can be covered. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So there are two views that need to be interrogated. Whether age is anything to do with logic. That the older you are, the more logical you are. So we have we will then open that to debate between wildfire and RAS. RAS, you prepare for that, you document your reasons. And then we discuss whether there is anyone who is old preventing a young person from being logical. And then whether young people are oppressed in terms of reasoning. All right. And then, Walfa, the third one is the reason. Do you think age has something to do with reason hello our alpha is muted uh, and rust do you think age has something to do with reason um i was saying we as human beings unlike animals when a, when a young animal is born it knows that this is a lion already and this is a snake but we as people get taught. So no, no. I'm saying is say yes, yes or yes or no, so that when we have the TV show, you will be on the side of yes or on the side of no. Um, okay. I'll be on the side of uh because I was going to be in the middle of the collaboration of the two. No, just 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 yeah. decide, just decide which side. All right. So if, on the side of the debate, well, let, let me start. Let, let me re re reverse a little bit from what, what, what I just said a few seconds ago. Yeah. Right. I said the young generation will, will learn. Will, we learn from the generations before. No, no, I'm, I, I'm not asking you. I'm not asking you to go deeper. I'm just asking you to determine which side you are on. Do you think age has? Does age have anything to do with reason? So that those who are reasonable, who are reasonable. they become old. Ah, uh, no, no reason. Reasoning is just ageless. Some kids just understand. So you are on the side. You are on the side of uh, yes. that. There is no relation between reason and age. Yeah, some little kids are very. Respectful. No, no. I'm just saying yes or yes or no. We are before we go. Ras, before we go deeper. Before we go deeper. Uh, I just want to know which side you are on. Yes or no? The 
question is still not 100 percent clear all right let me ask you, uh, let me ask a wildfire is the question clear to you wildfire I'm getting a very broad answer, but I'm okay. no, no. He's he's he's, he's he's just saying answer like yes. No, no. He's saying uh, there is there is no relationship. Let's ask him. Uh, good evening. Uh, good morning to you. Good evening, Koma Masimba. Yes, how are you, Mr. A? How are you, Pario? So, uh, Mkwama Simba, did you hear the question? Uh, can you please uh, repeat the question again, Mr. Mawe? Common sense and age. Do you think yep. uh, common sense has anything to do with age? So that a person who is no. older has got common sense, a person who is younger has less common sense. When you die at 90, you have the common sense of a 90-year-old. Okay. Uh, let me start by let's start by trying to define what is common sense. That's number one. Then number two, we also need to define what is ageless. That's number two. Then what is age-centric? So common sense to me is basically fitting in. Example, if I met a funeral, my conversation no, no, must uh, be something to do with... Guama Simba, you're already going deeper. I'm saying, do you think there's a relationship, yes or no, so that I know which side of the debate are you? Common sense is ageless. Okay. We okay. take... No, we no, take... No, no, I, no, I just agree. Common sense is age-centric. Yes, it is age-centric. So there is a relationship, according to you, between age yes. and common sense, so that if you are younger, yes. you have less common sense. certain way you show your common sense as a young person no no i'm just saying is there from if you say yes then i know if you say uh, i need to go deeper on it so that i understand what common sense is then that will be the show common sense to me is age centric okay and then the wildfire again No, Mkwama Masimba was not there, so he just to repeat. Yeah, but only maybe 15 minutes because my battery is dying. Oh, okay, no, that's fine. And, and then, and then, yeah. Ras, you answered it before. Yep. As you get older, you have to get wiser. Okay, the so there is a relation. It's age centric. So that you can teach the younger generation. All right, and Mkwama yeah. Masimba, your because question. Mistakes as we're growing up, you know, we make no. mistakes growing up. No, no, I'm talking is that Russ, Russ, you are already going deeper. We want Mkwama Simba to go deeper on that issue on his show. Uh, I'm just provoking debate. And Mkwama Simba, is there anything, any relation between age and logic? Age and logic, there's no relationship. All right. Uh, but I'll say there is a no, I'll take the side. Yes, there's a relationship. Okay, that's fine. So uh, it's age centric. Then number yep. three, uh, between age and reason. Yes, there's okay. a relationship. All right. So while Fai say there's no relationship, you say there's a relationship. So when are we going to have this battle of ideas? One idea saying there is a generational issue. The old people are wiser and they are not helping the young people. Old people have better common sense and they are not using it to uplift the young. So we will go deeper on that uh, on that question. Uh, when Mkwa uh, Masimba, that's uh, the radio show. The TV show, age versus common sense, age versus logic, age versus reason. Are we okay as we prepare for this battle of ideas? I'm in. 
you are in and ras yep wildfire good to go No, no, I'm saying I, I can't hear you. I think you are you are far from the mic. I'll join in. Yeah. Join in, or you are you are anxious to add your voice to it? Yeah, I mean, it means I'm, I'm glad of you. Huh? Definitely. All right. So that is the uh, one show. So if you are listening out there. And you also want to participate in this great debate. There is no one who is right. There is no one who is wrong. But the mere fact is okay. that we are talking about it. Because there are many right. people who say the youth, G40 and Lacoste, the battle is against, is uh, on these principles that old people must give, must give sunshine to young people that women must be given power through empowerment so that they can become stronger and wiser women so let's ask discuss mpoma simba you wanted to say something before you go maybe yeah i would like to uh, say to you mr mawiri I had a show today with uh, my colleagues, World Fight National Pacific, <laughs> and I think I want us to have a meeting about our TV station. We've got a lot of things to really talk about. We need, I, I'm, I'm actually suggesting we need a meeting about the radio and TV so that we move together as one. At the moment, we are organized. We are not organized as a TV station. I would say, since I just joined in, and uh, I think we need to have a meeting. No problem. I think when are you available so that we can coordinate with international welfare? Just to take a post mortem. Uh, huh? What I will do, I can charge my phone for the next uh, one and a half hours. Yeah. Then we need to have a meeting, please, as presenters. No problem. Do you yes, need meeting as soon do as you possible. need me for that meeting or that is your meeting? Mm -hmm. hmm? It's. Uh, I need you to be there as the founder, as the founding member of the station. I need you to be there. We need to have a meeting. All right, but uh, over how did you find the uh, the first one? That was uh, the first one was great. It was very great. It was just like a freestyle one to testing. I was testing the system. We got so much audience, but I think we need a meeting as soon as possible so that we get organized. That's uh, you can't say that again and again and. Uh, uh, so let's have that meeting and if you are out there who is concerned about content please inbox so that uh, together we can find a perfect combination the meeting will take place when the battle is on but uh, last uh, uh, I hope uh, uh, this uh, introduction with wildfire because I just called you to introduce you to wildfire uh, so that your broadcasting, we can find a, a common vehicle, Russ, so that we know what to do if somebody is in Venezuela and they are Zimbabwean or they are African, they want to be part of this uh, highway. How do they plug in? And should we have an, an editor? Should we be freestyling? And uh, you may sit with the equipment there but actually don't know how to uh, put a, a show together and you'll be waiting for Mkoma Masimba to be able to tell you what to do. He's writing his book. Yeah. That's right. He's writing his book, that's right. Yeah. So what I think, even this could be, if I, if, if I have said it out properly, um, are, are you recording this? Yeah, we can edit some of the interesting bits of introductions from this alone. You know, just the important keywords of the conversation of the debate, or, or, or whenever the debate will occur. Just quick little minutes when it's happening, and just what, what we discussed already is enough. The minutes are already within the recording, so we just get a copy of and pick up the. You know, that's what uh, that's what I've I've done. I've learned to record everything. It's, 
so that uh, some people don't understand why I record. Because then if I don't record, I have to repeat it. I have to remember what this one said. But in the long yes. conversation, you could have one minute of uh, something that can provoke someone to do something differently. So thank you. It's recorded. And we send you the link so that uh, if you can edit it and find some yeah. useful things that can yes. help somebody in London yes. to say, how do I do this? I'm gifted. I post everything on Facebook every day. But I want to be part of a community of content producers. Then we call ourselves right. the producers. We call ourselves Netflix. But it doesn't mean one person has right. to be the host of all the shows. That's right. Different hosts, different shows. But we are going in the same direction. You may exit earlier. You may be on the fast lane. I may be on the slow lane. But each one of us is moving somewhere. That's right. So everybody is included. Everybody is welcome. It's not Maweri. That's what Mkwama Simba was saying. Let's go to a common platform that we all own and we are part of it. Not that somebody, have you ever heard someone coming to the show, like a WhatsApp group, and say, what is the show about? Surely, would you ask Universal Studios what the show is about? <laughs> would you ask Kim Kardashian what is the show about? No way. Yeah, you just get in and just uh, uh, fasten your seat belts. And uh, have you seen what Qantas is doing? Uh, have you seen the new the new air flights, uh, Russ? The new air flights. Uh, you you take off going nowhere. You know what that means? You are in the flight going nowhere because of COVID. So they just fly around Australia wow, and come and true. drop you where you started. Wow, that's really <laughs> full on, yeah. And the first flight, the first Qantas flight was was overbooked. Yeah. Because people just want to fly, but uh, you can't go to London. You can't go because there they are restrictions. So you can also have a, a radio that starts going nowhere. But somebody will ask, where are you going? But wh what are you doing in the plane that is going nowhere? Huh? Why ask instead of enjoying the ride? How many people want reason to be alive? Yet every day they live without knowing when they are going to die. So Mkwama Simba, I, I know you came in for the purpose of the meeting. I thought I would just aid you. This was a conversation. Yeah, no, that's good. No, at least I like the conversation too, and I'm in for this uh, debate. I'll stand with my points. Yeah. Common sense is eccentric. Logic has got something to do with age. Those are my points. That's my side. No, no that will be the show, Mkoma Masimba, where yes, you are put, put under the spotlight to explain why you believe that a young person cannot think and solve a problem better than an older person because he lacks reason and you are saying let's wait for him to be old to solve a problem that is current so we will be digging deeper into that how many young people have changed the world how many school dropouts have changed the world how many people who look scruffy, but they have changed the world? How many people are looking for content? Yet Kim Kardashian, Trump has changed the world by having a president who tweets rather than talk to you. Either you like what he has tweeted or you don't like it. But the fact is he has expressed his mind. How many people are in positions of high authority who don't even watch what is happening in social media, who wait for reports, only to wake up to find the world has changed through a tweet, through a camera, that George Floyd... Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Uh, thank you. I'll just test my earphones. Yeah. 
So it's very clear. So I'm saying the world has been changed by the digital revolution. That those who used to claim uh, more common sense because of age, but we are not going to debate it now. Uh, I'm sorry for digging deeper. This was just to decide who is on who. So if you are watching there, there are three things that we are looking for. Uh, common sense, number one. Logic, number two. Reason, number three. Do you think these three variables have anything to do with age? To, yeah, so that is a question for the for the for the for the public. But we will have facilitators to facilitate this conversation so that uh, one can be on one side and the other on another side, and we give equal time to both parties to present their argument and the other one to present counter argument and then we conclude the show is that okay uh Mkwama Simba. that's okay Mr. Well, but uh, like what i said i just started today broadcasting i was testing and i like the system i think i need a meeting with you mr Mwere wildfire tinashe and rasta in about two hours time from now yeah we have agreed on that meeting. We have agreed yeah. on that. I think uh, from for, that meeting now, yeah. then we can have to pay for it. All right. And uh, 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 that's the end of the show because uh, Rasa is gone and that was the purpose. Uh, Wildfire, do you want to conclude or anything that you may want as a parting shot? I know. I think everything has been said. Your voice is not audible. All right. And Mguama, by any parting words, no, apart from the meeting? Uh, Stan, can you do me a favor, please? Because I don't have a battery. Can you please uh, just make a flyer meeting at 80 and 3? That's our agenda meeting. I want to send that flyer to other groups. I'm inviting my friends, members, other people to come for the meeting. They'll be watching us. All right. So yeah. what time What time shall he, shall he put it for? And what will be the title? Uh, Let's say exactly two hours from now. So two hours. Uh, it's a. Let's say. We can say. Two, okay. What time are you gonna be free? So let's just say five p.m. Five p.m. Rasta. That means the one a.m. This side. Are you okay with that, Rasta? Rasta is gone here. Yeah. Okay, I'll talk to you. Yeah. Because we have to wake up here. All right. Uh, is there any way you can do it earlier so that we, we don't uh, uh, disrupt? Yeah, you. We can do it maybe one, one, and a half, one hour from now. Is that okay, Stan? Hopefully, I'll be having it. So uh, if Tinashe is there, then we can record it. Yeah. Okay, so if Tinashe is there, we can do it exactly. What time is it over there? Is, about, uh, is it 11 20 now? Yeah. So plus two hours. It will be one thirty. One thirty. One thirty p.m. So we can just say two p.m. Two p. Okay? Yeah, two p.m. And then you just do a flyer from Guam as in to circulate. Start testing. Yeah, and the title. What do you want to call it? Uh, let's work. Out, let's work it out together. My agenda. I'll be meeting, I'll be meeting Mr. Mawere, Tinashe, and uh, Wildfire. Wildfire is not there. Tinashe, Mr. Mawere, and Cluster. The idea is about building our TV. The, TV, the first meeting on our okay. TV station. Okay, towards, towards building a global media platform. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's not just radio. It's radio and TV. Yes. Radio and TV, yeah. And that also th good. those who can write, can write. So it's also print. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. 
And the host is, is Mkwama Simba. So Mkwama Simba host, yes. Then I'll give you a good photo of mine. Yeah. Okay, that's fine, yep. And I also put hashtag, I like those words, I'm going to explain why. All right. Yep. Okay, so you can see I'll talk to Rasta. Okay, thanks. Okay, so I'll catch up with you at 2 p.m. Okay, thanks. Then I'll send you a photo as soon as possible, just now. All right, thanks. Okay, bye. Okay, bye.